In this video, we'll write the formula for chromium-3 hydroxide. So let's first write the element symbol for chromium, that's Cr. And this 3, this Roman numeral 3 here, that means it has a 3 plus ionic charge there. The hydroxide, you're not going to find this on the periodic table, really one you should memorize. Hydroxide, that's OH minus. And often when we see the hydroxide, we're thinking we have a base. So we have OH minus, and the minus, that's on the whole hydroxide ion. Since we have this metal here and a group of nonmetals, the hydroxide ion, the charge on all this, it needs to add up to zero. We need to have a net charge of zero. So if we had three of these hydroxide ions, they're one minus. So if we put a three here, that would mean that we'd have a total charge of three minus. That would balance out the three plus. We'd have a net charge of zero. But because the three applies to the O and the H, we do need to put these parentheses around it. So this is the formula for chromium-3 hydroxide, CrOH in parentheses, 3. Let me clean this up a bit. And there you have it, the formula for chromium-3 hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.